So can we give it up for Mr. Roland Perry? So this man, as May she talked about his contribution, and then we talked about another contribution. Ms. Ernestine talked to him, based upon the Congresswoman. So she's given a little bit. So if y'all don't know that much about him, you need to go look at it. She said he's here to stay, so can we do better and give him a big applause? Yeah. So I'd like to say good evening, my brothers and sisters. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I got about two minutes. First, I wanted to thank uh, Texas Black Academy of Arts and Letters, uh, Mr. Curtis King, for not only having the vision to pr preserve our past, because if we don't preserve it, who's going to preserve it? To preserve our past, but also to have showcase and presentation of the future generations. And with that, I want his millennial board, the young people, just raise your hand, you're around, right? These are young folks, I'd say. Amen. I'm 35, yeah. his new board. Yeah. Yeah. I told them. Like the words of Nipsey Hussle, not Nipsey Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Nipsey Hussle, it's a marathon, not yeah. a sprint. Yeah. And so the few words I have for, for uh, Mrs. Er Eddie Bernice Johnson. One, education is important, right? Mm -hmm. And so just when you research, you'll find that her certif certification for being a nurse was from Notre Dame. All right, but then she came back and got a bachelor's of science degree from Texas Christian. And then she got a master's degree from SMU. So any of the young people and even the legacy people, it's not too late to go and look about getting education. So she was a trailblazer, the first registered nurse ever to get elected to the Texas House, to the Texas Senate, and to US Congress. But she was also a money maker. A money maker, not hundreds, not millions, not multi-millions, but she's brought more billion dollars to North Texas. Some of the projects that we see and take for granted, she mentioned DART. Love Field opened up, you remember when you had to catch a plane and then have to change somewhere else to eat? So she was part of that right amendment to change that. So we thank you for that. You guys know what Jerry World is? Yes. There was a flood zone out there. Madam uh, Congresswoman had to work some legislation so we could have Jerry World. And she was in Tennessee with me. She said, Roland, I know what to do for the Cowboys to win another Super Bowl. She said, either let them let me buy the team or become the general manager. <laughs> So I think I've exhausted everything. And again, if you don't know much about me, Luke 12, 48 says, to whom much is given, much is required. So I enjoyed coming over here. I always heard about T-Ball. I met uh, Mr. King, what he's done, his vision. And I said, I'll write the check for this exhibit. And when is that other one? We got, we, if, you've, if you've never seen Miss Eddie Bernice Johnson unplugged, <laughs> unplugged, come to the break. Okay, remember five presidents? <laughs> Well, four real presidents. <laughs> How many of you guys listened to K104 back about 20 years ago? You remember they said our first black president? Yeah. Was who? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. <laughs> She's got some Bill Clinton stories. <laughs> so without any further ado, thank you very much for coming out. We look forward to this next event that's happening. Thank you, young people. Thank you, everybody. And thank you very much, Ms. Eddie Bernice Johnson. Let her son raise a hand in case you don't know him. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. King. Yeah. A couple more things before we unveil this uh, garment. Uh, Mr. Philip Collins, who was a curator for the gallery, who put this exhibition yes. up. This exhibit actually was put up in, in for 30, 30 years ago. So this exhibit has been up 17 years. And when it was open, 46 of the biggest name celebrities in the world came here for this exhibit. On the other side, everybody just go by and just look at that bench. That bench was in the original production for Pearly that was on Broadway in 1960. Pearly is getting ready to open on Broadway September 27th for opening again some 40 years later. But well, we got the original bench right here in our gallery. 
and it was donated by Austin Davis and Ruby Dee's family. Okay. So I'm going to the opening for Pearly on Broadway. Y'all right. right. gotta go with me too. <laughs> so again, I'm really grateful. Um, before she pulled this, I want to, uh, some Erica Badu, she always does, raise her hand. The this, um, festival has happened this weekend. And I just said a few minutes ago, everything that I have prayed for is going to happen this festival. At this point, everything has come to pass. Amen. And I said a few minutes ago, you have not because you asked not. That's right. It's taken me this long to ask God for something Amen. that he has granted all of my wishes. Amen. And Marvin Amen. Walker said to me, she says, if you let money be the driving force, you'll never get anything done. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Back then, I didn't have no money, and I was doing the work. <laughs> And the moment I start looking for money is when everything starts falling apart. Mm -hmm. So then I stop looking for it. And I tell you, God has opened doors that you can't even imagine. Thank, Thank God for COVID. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what I mean when I say that. I don't mean the disease. I'm talking about the blessing. Yes. Amen. You're looking at a blessed person here. A person who survived prostate cancer. Right. Feel better than I've ever felt. God. Clear. Oh Everybody who comes to this festival this year say they will come on holy ground. Amen. Amen. When I sit and look at everything that's going on in the world, yes. missiles and bombs, mm -hmm. we, as much as we see the negative of that, we also have the power to see the, the, the positive. Yes. Yes. It's an example. Yes. So I'm just telling everybody, come, let's have a great time. Yes. Music is a healer. Yes. It has healed my body. Every time I did my treatment, the doctor said, what kind of music you want to listen to? Mm -hmm. Tremaine Hawkins was one of the songs. He's that kind of friend. Yes. Yes. And she's coming this weekend. Yes. Okay. So how to said all of that? Everybody said, no, 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 no.